Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fabulous. Thanks for joining me. Today we're creating 10 cards with the Spellbinders Card Kit of the Month for March 2021. Now this is the little bunny that we created during the unboxing. If you guys missed that, I'll link it at the end of the video where you can check out how I put together the dies. Um, I love it because this is your stamp set this month. There is a coordinating die well that will cut out the sentiments. And so we're going to use that for our first card. Now I wanted another bunny for my card, my first card. So I'm going to die cut it out again with white cardstock. But I wanted my bunny facing the other way. To do this, it's very simple. All you have to do is flip your bunny over from left to right. Um, although when you do die cut it out this way, you have uh, um, some sharp edges on the reverse side of your die cut. Um, they say if you take a stylus, you could rub those out super easily. By the time I added all my embellishments and my highlight with my um, Copic marker, you could hardly tell. So I just left it. I just, But I just think it looks so cute when they're facing each other. I added a few of the flowers that I had created during my unboxing. Um, to that bunny as well. So one's holding one flower, the other one is holding two. Now we're going to bring in some pattern paper from our six by six paper pad. Um, we have a full size pad that comes in the kit. I'm taking a heart die and I'm going to die cut out a window with it. Now um, the pattern paper that I have, I already added fun foam behind it and then I die cut it with the heart. Um, you could just I cut out the pattern. I, the pun foam for me, since the pattern paper is a little bit on the thinner side, it just adds more stability if I want to pop my panels up. So I have lots of fun foam, that's why I use that. But I'm going to remove the release paper off of my panel here. And the panel size, by the way, measures um, three and three quarter inches by five inches. We're going to center it on our card base so we have a little bit of a white border. After this is centered, um, while I made my bunnies, I already have foam adhesive behind there. Um, I just removed the release paper, added one more to the top of the bunny. This way uh, it is on the inside of my window. It just makes it more even. I added them with their little noses almost touching. <laughs> and then we're going to add the sentiment just below their feet here. I think they turned out so cute. I love the dyes and the spring feel of this month's kit. Now for finishing touches, I am going to bring in some little hearts. These actually were the center of the clovers from your die this month. This is the die that came in the kit. I kept those little center pieces with the gold cardstock and then I also die cut it out with white cardstock. Um, I'm just going to color those with my Copic markers and place them above, uh, above the money. Um, bunny noses. I colored them in a yellow, a pink, and a purple to kind of match the pattern paper in the background, but um, just added them above their noses. Finish, I am anyway, going to bring in my crystal drops to center the flowers to add a little bit of dimension. These are just white crystal drops, um, just dotted the center of my flowers. And then that is card number one, using the dies in this month's kit, which is so adorable. Number two, we are going to we're going to go ahead and punch out um, the hole that's in this little banner here. The little banner says happy day. I'm going to thread some white twine through it and then that's going to be our sentiment for card number two. I also have a panel that I trimmed down. It measures three and a half inches by four and three quarters. Um, we're going to go ahead and pop up our little banner here and add that to the top of our pattern paper. The pattern paper I again added fun foam behind it. I think I need one more strip of tape so I can adhere my twine behind my fun foam here. This is a great way to pop up your pattern paper if you have paper that's on the thinner side. Add some fun foam behind it for that added dimension. But I'll wrap the, tw the twine behind it making sure it's straight. If we have a little excess you just want to trim it off with your scissors and then we're going to go ahead and place that on our card base. And then I have some of the die cut pieces that came in the die cut pack. I have two flowers and then since we have two um, of each die cut, I have two of the green leaves and two of the teal leaves. We're going to center our little pink flowers and then um, I do have foam adhesive behind those as well and then I do have foam adhesive behind my, um, my leaves here. We're just going to layer these two together putting the larger one towards the right since we have our tag towards the left. I think it's, it 
creates a nice balanced card. We'll add a light green to the top here, and then we'll add another light green um, on the bottom of the right side. And then we'll do the same with our teal colored leaves. This is gonna go on the top. This one's gonna go just below the bottom here, kind of tucking under our flowers. I think they look so pretty. <laughs> Now, um, the flower centers are pretty big, and we do the tags just too, too low, guys. I'm going to go ahead and try not to destroy my card, but I'm going to lift up my tag. Um, and it actually worked well since I had that fun foam. It's not as tacky as I would have if I used um, my tape, but I went ahead and lifted up my tag just a little bit. <laughs> I dotted the center of my flowers with the gems that came with the yellow gems that came in the kit this month and then that is card number two number three we have our elements for card number three i have this real springy plaid paper it measures three and a half inches by four and three quarters i'm going to go ahead and add this to the very top all the way to the left corner here um, on the gold cardstock. The gold uh, cardstock measures four or three and three quarter inches by five inches. We're gonna go ahead and remove the release paper off of our fun foam on this one. Pop it up and place this all the way up in the left corner for this one as well. Something a little different than centering it. I kind of like the effect. It reminds me of a napkin, but I like it. <laughs> okay, we have some more die cut pieces. Now this little banner has the best time on it. I added foam adhesive behind here. We're gonna place this on our pattern paper. And the best time would be great on its own, but I'm gonna change up the sentiment with this little die cut piece. It says treasure this moment. And I like that sentiment a little bit better than the best time. So I did pop this one up with some foam squares. We're gonna slant it just slightly and it covers that sentiment perfectly. And I like the colors that this have. That banner actually have like, has like a linen look to it, which is really nice. I'm going to go ahead and add a few of the gold flourishes and then the yellow flowers up in this corner. And we I did add some foam adhesive behind those as well. And then for bells and whistles, not much. There's a lot going on here, but I am going to bring in some of my gold stickles, some some gold glitter, and we're going to add a little sparkle to the center of these flowers. And that finishes my card number three. Kind of a very elegant card, but I like that, that pattern paper in the corner there. Okay, no, next card, card number four is pretty simple. I love the spring colors in the paper pad. So I trimmed down a whole bunch of different strips of them and different widths and different heights. Um, there's five in total. We have the pink, we have the pr um, the pattern paper print here, and we have some of the pretty spring plaid. That one's gonna go on the very bottom. Um, we have the green and then the blue pattern paper also. Once I have them placed on my panel, I'm gonna use a sentiment that says, you are not alone. That is in the stamp set this month, and then you have a coordinating die that will die cut it out. I'm going to take two of our butterfly embellishments, the pink and the yellow. We're going to scoot our sentiment up just a bit and add them to the front of our card just so they're overhanging on our pattern paper. And I love the spring feel of this. And I thought adding two butterflies went really good with the sentiment. So that finishes that card. A pretty simple card, but I like the outcome. We're going to move along to card number five. I have some of the critters that are in our die cut pack. Now the critters look different than they do um, directly from the die cut pack. That's because I used my Copic markers and added a little shading detail to them. So I just found a Copic marker that coordinated with the colors, the browns and the reds, even the green for the grass here. But I added shading to it. I think it took a little bit, um, made it a little bit less cartoonish when you do this. Now I have a piece of clear view, a clear view sheet, which is an acetate sheet. It measures three and a half inches by four and three quarters. What we're gonna do to create our floating card is add our critters a little bit towards the center, kind of overlapping them together. I'm gonna grab the little bunny that's in the um, 
the foam stickers here, we're gonna add that guy too. Now, I am gonna bring in a Copic marker to color in this little guy to do a little shading so he, he looks less animated. Um, but with the Copic markers, it was easier to color the die cut since they were paper versus the foam. The foam pieces have a little bit more of a, a slick surface, so my marker didn't wanna show up as well. So I ended up having to use a little bit of a darker Copic. But the shading does add, um, takes away a bit from that cartoonish look. But I add my bunny. I do have my little um, porcupine to add and then also this strip of grass. We're gonna basically put that towards the center of our acetate so that they're all sitting on it. Next, we're gonna take the loved from our foam stickers. Now, I just want love, I don't want the D, so we're gonna take our scissors and just trim off that D. Um, I'm gonna use a sentiment in the stamp set that says, from your friends. So this way, when you have the love without the D, it'll say, um, love from your friends. I think that flowed a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and pop up my second part of the sentiment, scoot it over just a little bit. And then we are, since our bottom half is a lot of white to it, we're gonna bring in some white hearts and put them just above our critters here. Love the way this looks. Okay, we're gonna flip over our acetate piece. I'm gonna add foam adhesive behind all the areas of our images. And then we're gonna bring in our card base. Now, since it's white on the background, I thought we'd bring in a little color with some Distress Oxide ink. This is Tumble Glass. I'm just using my blending brush and we're gonna add a little color in our background. And it just makes our little images float and pop. So this is really fun to do. I think if you, tr you guys were to try the acetate, it looks really nice in real life. Um, I do think I need one more heart in that bottom corner. So I grabbed my stickers and I took the largest white heart and we're gonna put it to the right of our love there. And that is our card number five. I think it's a fun little floating card. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move along and make a floral card for card number six. I have a panel of pink pattern paper that measures four inches by five and a quarter. I adhered that to my card base. Next, we're gonna take this pattern paper that has the print on it. Um, that measures two and a half inches wide by five and a quarter inches tall. I adhered that about a half of an inch from the right side of our card base. Next, we're gonna use this beautiful flourish that came in the die cut pack. I'm gonna add that to a piece of vellum. This is a two and a half inch um, vellum circle that I used. I'm gonna go ahead and add this little yellow flourish. There is the same flourish in that little die cut piece. I'm just gonna extend it with this same flourish. Okay, just tucking it underneath there. Now next, for my sentiment, I'm gonna use one of the little tags in the die cut pack that says Cherished. And I did thread it with some white twine. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the release paper. I added foam, uh, foam tape behind it we're gonna kind of angle it at the bottom of our vellum flowers. And then we're gonna flip over our vellum circle and add foam adhesive behind here. This is gonna look like it's kind of floating also. Just trim it down, place that in the center of our card. This is just like a nice everyday card. And after this is centered, we're, we're gonna angle this a little more We'll take the tails of our twine and tie our bow. Sometimes it's easier when you tie the bow when it's adhered to something um, versus when it's not. <laughs> and then for finishing touches, I'm taking some um, Ranger stickles. This is diamond. It's like an iridescent stickles. And I just added some to the center of the flowers and then also to the yellow flourishes on that die cut piece. But that's card number six. Now we're gonna move along to card number seven. I have some of the wood grain pattern paper. I trimmed down a panel that measures three and three quarter inches by five inches. That's gonna go on our card base. And then this piece here, I die cut out with our gold cardstock. I love die cutting out with a gold cardstock. It just die cuts out beautifully. It also trims down beautifully. Um, this doesn't come in your card kit. I actually brought in some of my own dies that I had in my stash. Um, this set is called the Stacked Decorative Edges. I love this little lattice piece. So we're just gonna add some adhesive behind it and layer this on the bottom of our card base. 
about a one and a half inch from the bottom. There is some overhanging on the left and right, then we'll use our scissors to trim that off. But we have some more die cut pieces. I have the teacup, the butterfly, and then for this card, we're gonna use another one of our, this is the die cut uh, set that I use, guys. I use it often, it's a very nice border set. And I'll list it below if you guys wanna check that out. Um, it was a die, um, small die of the month club kit, I believe, but they have it um, outside of the club kit now. So if you wanna check it out, I'll list it below. But I have a, the butterfly and then the sentiment tag that says love this. Um, I am going to thread some white twine through that little tag. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and tie a bow before I adhere it. We're going to kind of uh, um, fake it. If you wanted to thread this through the handle of your teacup, you could. Um, but I'm going to take my craft knife and cut a slit in this little teacup. Now the same flower that we used for our previous card, we're going to use that second flower we get two of everything this month, well, yes. And I'm gonna tuck it. I did trim down a few of the flowers, but I tucked it on the inside of my teacup. And I have a flower-filled teacup. I think it looks so pretty. <laughs> I did add foam adhesive behind it. It helps secure those flowers inside the teacup. And then um, there's a little portion of the handle that's showing. So this is where if you wanted to thread your twine through it, you could. But I'm just gonna kind of fake it for this card. <laughs> We're gonna add our teacup and flowers to the left. I did pop up my um, my little tag with some foam adhesive. We'll trim it down with some scissors and add that, like it's tied to the handle of our little teacup here. There's some gold in, um, detail on that, so the gold's just really standing out with this. And then I have two more pieces of the die cuts. I have the gold heart, and then I have one of the butterflies. I'm gonna go ahead and add the butterfly directly on top of my flowers and then the gold heart just above my sentiment. This says, love this. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, doctor up my little flowers in the flower centers with my diamond stickles and also the butterfly wings here. And then I'm gonna take my journey glaze and go over the heart that's just above my sentiment. We're gonna add a little dimension to that. And that is card number seven. Nice little friendship card. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move along to our next card, card number eight. Um, I'm gonna use that same die set, the stack decorative edges, and this time we're gonna use a small scallop die. I'm gonna die cut out once again with the gold cardstock. So we have a scallop strip, and then we're gonna adhere that to a strip of the blue, like a wood grain pattern paper. You wanna make sure that your wood grain pattern paper is um, vertical. I think it looks nicer that way. But we'll just adhere these both together so that that scallop strip is hanging over. And then we're gonna flip this over, add adhesive behind here and add this to the bottom of our card base. This strip is of the blue wood grain pattern paper is two inches wide. We're just gonna trim off the left and the right side. Now we have three pieces of the die cuts. I have the window and then also the flower box and the flower wheelbarrow. Um, I did add glossy accents to my window. I had to wait for it to dry to finish on with the card, but there's glossy accents on the window. Um, it does warp the paper a little bit, guys, but not too too bad where it's um, gonna affect your card. But I love the way that looks like glass. So there is an option if you want to try that out. I did add my flower box underneath my window. I just added foam, foam adhesive and then we're going to add the wheelbarrow on the bottom left corner. Finishing touches, I'm going to use the yellow gems that we got in the kit this month. We'll add a few of them. And that is card number eight. A little wheelbarrow card. <laughs> now we're moving along to card number nine, which is a very, very simple card. Again, I love the pattern papers and the bright springy colors. And I wanted a card that I could just write a note for the neighbor, for the postman, for anything, um, school teachers. So this is a great way to do that with when you have such pretty pattern papers. Now, I these are one and a half inch squares and I have six of them. Pick your favorite six. And then I just evenly space them on my card front. These are, um, I did add foam, uh, fun foam behind it so that they're nice and solid. And then for finishing touches on this card, I'm just gonna add a pink heart on the very bottom wood grain pattern paper. 
But that is card number nine. Pretty easy card, but I love those pattern papers. <laughs> Now for my final card today, we're gonna use some of these die cut pieces. There's two little flower pots. One says bloom, the other says grow. I'm gonna take my craft knife and cut a slit at the very top of each one of these little um, flower pots. Now I had created some more flowers using our dies in this kit this month. There's tulips and like a, a days, there's three different types of flowers and I die cut out seven of them and assembled them. Some have one leaf, some have two leaves but I did add um, detail with my Copic markers just to give them a little bit of shading. But this one, we're gonna tuck three flowers in there, just tucking those stems on the back side, And then to secure them, it's super easy, just add a piece of foam tape. Um, if you do add the foam tape that's in the kit, I suggest maybe adding quite a few. Um, I'm bringing in foam tape for, that I had in my stash just because it makes it easier. But um, secure them with your foam adhesive kind of does double duty. <laughs> That one has three flowers. I'm gonna take the other flower pot. The the one that I had um, three in is the one that says grow. The one I have blue, uh, four flowers in it says bloom. And we're just tucking and adding foam adhesive behind there. Next I have a one inch strip, a one inch by three and three quarter inch strip of the wood grain pattern paper. It was actually left over from our previous card. I'm adding, I'm adding foam adhesive behind it. This is gonna be like a floating shelf. We're gonna place this in the center of our card base. Um, just wanna make sure it's straight, guys. I just removed the release paper and we're gonna put it a little bit lower than center. This is gonna be a place to put our little flower pots. Okay, we're gonna remove the, uh, the backing off of our adhesive here and since we're going to have one that's in the white area, we're going to need to double up on that foam adhesive. So we'll add one more foam square. This is the one that has three flowers in it. Um, I think we're going to set this aside and add the one that has four flowers in this, on this left side. So we'll set this aside, grab our four flower pot, <laughs> and then we'll add one more foam adhesive to the top, and then place this on our little shelf. In the die cut pack, there's a pack there is some little seed packets. I grabbed both of them. I thought it'd be cute for this little card. I'm gonna layer this one just over the top there. Next, we'll put foam adhesive behind here and kind of place them wonky on the shelf. And then I did add my butterfly just above it. For my sentiment, we're gonna go white on white. There's a little glitter to these foam stickers, so it does stand out. Um, the, the glitter is a no shed, so you guys don't have to worry about getting glitter everywhere. But I wanna use the sentiment that says friends, and this is gonna go directly underneath my shelf. Now I'm placing them a little, the, the friends a little bit towards the right, so we have a little bit of a gap, a little bit more room on the right side. So my seed packets are gonna have to be adjusted here. We're gonna kind of replace them. Now in our foam sticker pack, there is a little envelope. It's a blue envelope that has a, a red heart that says for you. I thought we would add that just above our seed packets too. We're gonna put that on the shelf. <laughs> so we'll grab that and kind of do a little tucking with it. And I think that balances off with the friends being on the, the left here. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna bring in some of the white crystal drops and we're gonna center our flowers um, with white dots, just giving a little bit more detail. And that is card number 10. I love the spring feel of the card. I'm ready for spring, oh my gosh. And I say this as we have about 10 inches of snow, of, 10 inches of snow outside. But these are the 10 cards that I made today, guys, with the Celebrate Spring Spellbinders. Card kit of the month for March 2021. I can't believe it's March. Um, I hope this gives you some ideas on how to use the kit. If you guys want to see still shots, head on over to my blog. I, I, I take pictures of each one of the cards so you guys can um, kind of reference them if you'd like. But um, if you are interested in the kit, um, links for it are down below. And then I'll leave that stack decorative edges die downstairs too if you want to check that out. But I thank you so much for visiting. I hope you enjoyed my projects. I wish you a fabulous day, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.